going on guys, gals, gamers, light crimson here, and welcome back to some Resident Evil 3. Let me do that just to get back up to that. Let me take you to have a full healing item. Um, I don't really know what to expect, so I'm just going to start... Oh my god, it kept it as a 1? Nice. Um, so we'll take that. Um, let me make some acid rounds and some explosive rounds. Those are mine rounds, dipshit. Um... All right. Uh, yada 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 yada. I'm just doing this just to be safe, cause I don't know what we're gonna come across. I don't know if there's going to be another, like a, another save area, or if this is it. You know, this could be it. Um, so I'll take two just in case. Okay. Um, did I miss a button? Yeah, I, I missed this. Unfinished activity log. 1300 hours infiltrated raccoon city disturbances are sporadic commencing mission 1930 hours observed five rpd officers engaging a pack 20 strong officers annihilated in 20 minutes september 27 1200 hours test run at university diverted pack including canines to campus 64 percent infection and conversion in two hours no survivors 2300 hours successful rendezvous with mv platoon Oh, with Mikhail Victor's platoon, we'll make first attempt at dawn. September 28th, 0430, diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. End of skirmish. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with Mikhail Victor. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence and can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by CO uh, by Carlos. Carlos Oliveira, a soldier in Mikhail Victor's platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. We'll induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Get fucked, Nikolai. Bitch. strike if and this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch how long do we have hours maybe hmm then let's not waste one more second this way i'm saying it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes saving again um 
Yeah. Yeah. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. All right. Nikolai probably has like Carlos or something. Tyrell, I swear to God, if oh I can't run. Oh oh Tyrell, no. So you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. No. All right, let's get this done. You're infected. You're infected, and you're gonna you're, you're gonna bite my back. That's for damn sure. Hunter or Nemesis. Oh, he got. Oh, he got fucking Louised. Like Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 confirmed. Do you guys remember when uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire remake was uh, rumored? And then it eventually came out? And everyone was like... Everyone was like, Oh! You know, uh, Hoenn confirmed! Before like it actually was. Like that whole thing for like two years. Yeah, that's this entire game. It's like Outbreak Remake confirmed, 4 Remake confirmed. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, it went, I, alright. Went right through you. We need something for you. Alright, it's going right through without doing anything, so. Damn, that sucks, Tyrell. I liked you, T. Alright, so I'm actually going to put some of this shit away. Because uh, I don't think we're going to actually be doing the boss fight just yet. Controller, please. Controller, I am begging you. All right. Ooh, a green herb. Nest two. Oh, good. The objectives of this T-virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. We will fucking kill you. It is a great honor to be a part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, and it had a map in it. Ooh, this doesn't look like that big of an area. Uh, I'm rethinking this. Just for now, just in case I need the space. Because once it comes time, I may put the pistol away. I don't know. I may not put the pistol away. Oh, you are alive. Er, quote unquote alive. Yeah. Okay. Man, it sounds like the uh, self-destruct sequence has already been initiated. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, dickhead, in the ass. In the fucking ass. <laughs> he spidered. All right. All right, we got some more handgun ammo back. Like, basically, all that we use, we just got it back. Nice. Isaac Graves. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd, contrib I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told, for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. It's okay, dude. It happens. It happens to the best of us, man. It really does. Is there like a Charlie doll that you can see from in here? Did you hear that, guys? Carry an override key at all times. Oh my god, there's actually more here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Never mind. This area is fucking massive. Right, that's the locked door. Okay. Oh, I, he I hear it. I hear it. Oh, it's a separate room. Okay. Alright. Please no Nemi until the actual final boss fight. That'd be amazing. Alright. I don't know, guys. I may have to finish this up tomorrow. There may be, like, two more parts of and this. I don't know. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the material in the chamber. What? Synthesis? I have to make it myself? All right. I gotta figure this out. Yeah, Carlos just had to pick it up. Essay. I don't know. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an... Adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Okay. So we need two things. Put it, combine them, put them in there, boom, vaccine. Got it. You're dead. You're dead. All right, cool. Okay. Uh huh. I got a flash drive. Yeah, because this seems way too narrow for Nemesis to really do anything in here. Especially with him being as big and bulky as he is. Alright. So, one, I am once again making a decision. I 
I most likely do not need all of this. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, is there any way to kill you guys? Hold on. I am going to run some tests. All right. We're going to save here. We're going to make a separate save. And we're going to we're going to we're going to do some testing because in Resident Evil 2, you can fight these things and kill them if you put enough bullets into them. Just like everything. Everything dies eventually. Okay. Okay, so it takes three grenades, three explosive rounds to kill one. All right, hold on, hold on. I want to, I want to kind of practice this like dodge for a second. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so they can die. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna reload the save. I just wanna see if it was worth it over here. Oh, I gotta go this way, huh? Two, two, two shells. Gee, thanks. Alright, I gotta go this way, so Yeah, it's kinda gotta, huh? But I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, how many of these does it take? Oh shit. All right. All right. All right. Honestly, I think it may be worth the four magnum shells. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, I fucked it up. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna reload again, but I want this to be cool. I want this to be fucking epic. I want it to be awesome. Come on. Ah, uh, bam. You got done, son. Ah. Uh. 
bitch. Just blow his ass off. Oh, damn. All right. So what we learned is it takes like four shotgun shells, at least to the to the head. I don't know about body shots. Um, four shotgun shells. And one magnum shot. So I am actually okay with using a few magnum shots to clear those guys out at least the three that are walking around um the one that's like crawling i'm pretty sure i can evade him enough so i don't really have to worry about him um so i'm i'm okay with using three sh uh magnum shots to take them out i'm okay with that so they can be killed. They can be killed. Good to know. Alright, guys. But anyway, I am going... Oh, God, I got the hiccups. Anyway, I am going to call this video and this session here. I wasn't expecting it to take too incredibly long because we're at the five and a half hour mark. But then again, I was collecting a lot of shit and I was, you know, kind of like dicking about reading a lot. Um, next session is going to be the last session. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.